Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Breakdown by Philip Newman. This is an XV pair Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, replacing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And then we also have some X's and V's in the grid. Wherever you see an X, the two digits on either side of it sum to 10, and wherever you see a V, the two digits on either side sum to five. Not all possible X's and V's are necessarily shown, so there might be other pairs elsewhere in the grid that sum to five or 10 where there isn't actually an X or V written in the grid. So we're going to mark this 9 and this 1 to start off. Now there are only two ways to make a sum of 5, either 1 plus 4 and 2 plus 3. There's a 1 in this row already, so that's going to be 2 plus 3. And there's a 4 in this row already, so that will also be 2 plus 3. This could be um, either of those uh, kind of at a glance, but this can't be 3 or 4, so this can't be 1 or 2. And there's a 4 in this region, so that's going to be a 3, making that a 2 and a 3. And then that's now a two and a three and so on. Now we can't use a two, a three, or a four to make this sum of 10. So it has to be one plus nine. And these guys can't use a two, a three, or a four because we have threes in both of these columns and twos in both of these columns. So this also has to be one plus nine. This is now the only position for seven in the region. And then this is the only position for eight in the region. So we need to place a 1, 4, and 9 to finish the row. That can't be a 4. So we now have a 1, 9 pair here. This is the only location for 7 in the region because this 7 sees these cells. And we're going to have a 6 and an 8 here and a 2 right here. Now 1 plus 9 is 10 and 9 plus 1 is 10. So this cell also has to be either a 1 or a 9. That makes this a 4. And this is going to be an 8 to finish off the region. We have two 7s here. So this is the only position for 7 in this region. We have two threes here, and also a three here, so three must go there. This has to be a four and a six. Six in this row at the bottom can only go there. These are going to be four and five. The six is going to make this a four. I need three there. That's the only position for three in the region because those two threes are looking into the region. A four there, a five, and a six to finish off this region. I need a 7 and an 8 to finish off this column. I need a 1, 2, and 9 in this region. The 9 can only go there, which resolves this. And so my 1 and 2 have to go there and there. The 6 I placed earlier is going to give me an 8 right there and a 6. So now I need 4, 5, 7, and 8 to finish this region. I'll simplify that based on what digits I'm seeing. In this row, I need a 5, a 7, and an 8. That has to be the 5, 7, and 8. And because there's a 7 there now, this has to be the 7 in this region. I need 1 and 6 to finish off this region. And here I'm going to need 5, 6, and 8. I can't have an 8 there. I can't have a 6 here. So I have a 5, 8 pair, which places a 6 right there. In this column, I need a 1, a 4, and a 5. So this is going to have to be a 1. That's a naked 1. That's going to be a 5 because there's a 4 in the region. And these resolve. And my last two cells to fill are going to be a 2 and a 5. Oh, and this one right there with a 9. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's breakdown. Thanks for watching. If you want to check this puzzle out yourself, the link is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.